What's going on, people? This is Tashira Say for Computer Music Academy, and welcome back to CMA Answers. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about freezing and flattening tracks in Ableton Live. This actually has two purposes. One, to convert any tracks that you've used plugins on to audio, and two, to reduce your CPU load. Here's a demo track that I made. Now this was made entirely with plugins. There's battery three, Rob Poppins Blue Two, Spectrosonics Trillion, excellent bass plugin, UVI Urban X, which is within the UVI workstation. Two iterations of that, uh, VI One within Contact Five, and AAS's Strum Electric. Now here's the situation. Even though you see the VU meters moving and you hear audio, what's really happening is the MIDI notes you played is triggering the plug-in. This is how virtual instruments work. But here's an issue. The more plugins you use, the more processing power you use. Eventually your computer is going to choke on you. Let me show you how to get around that. What I'm about to do is record my beat in real time into arrangement view. Let's flip over to arrangement view and what you see is the beat exactly how I recorded it. As I said before, these clips are the MIDI notes that are triggering my virtual instrument. So right now I'm going to hit control A or command A, right click and go down to freeze track. What's happening right now is Ableton is creating an audio sample of the MIDI tracks. From now on, it's going to play those audio samples instead of the plugins. When it's all said and done, you'll notice the CPU load has been greatly reduced. The second part of this is flattening. I'm going to use this right here to select my arrangement. Now that I have my arrangement selected, I can right click. And at this point, I can unfreeze the track or flatten it. Click flatten. And now everything has been converted to audio. You'll notice, once again, your CPU load is down very low. And that's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it and found it informative. If you did, please like and share it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And for more tutorials, reviews, and exclusive courses, make your way over to ComputerMusicAcademy.com. See you next time.